to this lecture number 3 of chapter number or unit number 1 introduction to atomize in the previous lecture we discussed the introduction to atomize and what we uh, what uh, definition of atomize and the classification of atomize how atomize are to be classified so now in the second lecture of this unit number 1 we are going to discuss the major atomic components and their functions self layout. So, in this video, uh, the different vehicle components are to be shown, namely axle, engine, flywheel, clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, and universal joints, differential, axle, rear axle, wheels, and chassis frame such a that different components of atom body is to be shown in this layout. In the examination point of view, uh, many times they are going to be asked the draw the diagram of layout of atom body. So you can draw this simple layout which is going to be shown the important components of the atom bodies. So the main units of atom bodies are the basic structure basic structure includes this frame, axle, wheel, suspension system. Then power plant that is engine, transmission system, clutch, care power, propeller shaft, differential. Auxiliaries in the load it is not possible to show the auxiliaries like the electrical systems. Controls also it is not possible to show in this diagram. Controls means braking system, steering system. And lastly, the superstructure means body that is also not able to shown in this layout. Body which is cover the vehicle, which cover this the chassis frame that is the superstructure of this is a simple layout so of the and the components of atom bills. The atom bills can be considered on the five basic components, the engine or power plant, which is the source of power, second the frame and the chassis. It supports the engine, wheels, body, braking system, steering system, suspension, etc. Then the transmission which transmits the power from the engine to the car wheels, it consists of clutch, gearbox, shaft, axle, differential, etc. Then the body or superstructure, the body fitted on the chassis. Correct. So that is nothing but a superstructure. And auxiliary is like the different auxiliaries like electrical accessories like lighting accessories are there some fuel gates are there air conditioner heater stereo wiper horn these are come under the electrical accessories all auxiliaries so these are the important component of the atom body or main units of the atom body so first we will discuss with the chassis and frame or it is a basic structure very good. so this is a basic structure which consists of the chassis and frame suspension system axle wheels and tires very good. so this chassis frame is formed by the frame with the frame side members and cross members so the frame is usually made up of box tubular channel members that are welded or riveted together. In addition to this, it comprises of the springs with axles and wheels, the steering system and the brakes, the fuel tank, the exhaust system, the radiator and the battery and the other accessories. Along with this is the frame supports the body. Getting. So uh, the basic structure consists of the brake, suspension system, axle, wheels and tires. So again the frame is a, the conventional place is still frame which of all the mechanics are attached namely as here we are mentioned that axle, wheels, system, system, brakes, fuel tank, exhaust system, radiator such a systems are attached with the conventional that frame and the, on which body is superimposed on which the body is to be superimposed which covers the vehicle Again, this is a conventional type, particular or primary construction in which body structure is so designed to combine the function of body and frame. Getting. 
So this is the internal construction. In conventional, the form is a different, and the body is superimposed. Body is to be superimposed. It is again built on the frame. So that is the conventional. But now the internal frame construction is to be used in the major cars. In cars, jeeps, or SUVs, you can find this integral power frame based construction, which combine the function of body and frame. Getting so. Thermal construction is possible only in case of floor of the car. Again, since room, screen pillars, door pillars, rear panel are essential not in parts of the structure. Thermal construction is again a hard basis. It reduces the weight and consequently it going to save the fuel consumption. No more to change cost. Correct. During the collision, the bar collapses, thereby absorbing the shock due to impact and thus providing the safety for the passengers. Again, this advantage is there, reducing the strength and durability. Topless cars are difficult to design with the frameless construction. Increase the cost of repairs. Increase in case of damage of the body during the accidents. That's why there are advantages and disadvantages with the Thermless construction. Again, in this basic picture, along with the chassis and frame, suspension system is also the part of the system. Given. So, again, one of the what are the objectives of suspension system? First, to prevent the road shocks from being transmitted to the vehicle components, to safeguard the occupants from the road shocks, to preserve the vehicle stability in or rolling while in motion. Getting so such objectives are to be there from the suspension system. Again, suspension systems have the different types like conventional suspension system, independent suspension system, air suspension system. Like all, there are different classification of this air suspension system. Again, in basic structure, axles are there. Axles, these are the weight carrying portions. Meaning, it carries the weight of the vehicle. It may be whatever it may be, front or rear. Yeah, you can consider front or rear. It is a just simply the beam supported on the ends. Then wheels, which is also the main part of the basic structure. So again, different types of wheels are there. Wire wheel is there. Drum drum wheel system is there. Again, the alloy wheels are there. Building. So such a, that different types of these are so the important part of the basic structure. Next, the power plant or engine. So the power plant or engine provides the motive power for all the various functions which the vehicle or any part of it may be called upon to perform. Building. So for various parts, it going to provide the motive power. Meaning, so the power plant is generally consists of an internal combustion engine, which may be either SI engine or CN, spark ignition engine or compression ignition type engine. Meaning, so engine that consists of again cylinder, piston, valve, wall operating mechanism, carburetor or multi-point fuel injection. Nowadays in modern cars, fan, fuel feed pump, oil pump. Besides this, an engine requires ignition system for burning of fuel in the engine. Cylinder or induction system for the burning of the fluid in the in the in the engine cylinder. So this is about the power plant, which is the important component of the automobile. Next, the transmission system. So again, the transmission system consists of different parts like clutch, gearbox, which also called the transmission simply, which gives the thread for even for different ratios of torque output. The pressure shaft to transmit the torque output from gearbox to rear axle and the pressure gear to distribute the power torque equal between the driving wheels. Heading. So, the transmission system includes the clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, differential. So, the power delivered by the engine is transferred to the wheels by the transmission system, means by with the help of clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, and differential. So, transmission system must do three jobs. 
but it must provide varying gear ratios. Number of gear ratios are equal to number of gears in the vehicle. It must provide more gear for moving vehicle in the reverse direction. It must provide a neutral or discounting arrangement so that engine can be uncoupled from the wheels of the vehicle. In the conventional transmission system, there is a clutch, manually operated gearbox or gearbox, a proper shot and differential or final drive. This is about the gearbox. Clutch. So the purpose of clutch is to allow the driver to engage or disengage the engine and transmission. So when clutch is engaged position, the engine power flows from the transmission is through the clutch, correct, through the clutch to the gearbox. And through the gearbox is again relayed to the propeller shaft, through the propeller shaft is relayed to the differential, and from the differential goes to the axle to the wheels. Getting. So likewise clutch is again the part of the transmission system. It only its purpose is to enable the driver to disconnect the drive from road wheels. A start on this. And engage the drive from the engine to the road wheels gradually while moving the vehicle from rest. Next, the final drive. Final drive includes again the depression and depression gearings. So, final drive is the last stage of transferring power from the engine to the wheels. It reduces the speed of the propeller shaft to get up the wheels. It also turns the drive of the propeller shaft by at an angle 90 degrees to the drive of the wheels. The propeller shaft has small ball pan which mesh with the crown wheel. The crown wheel gives rotary motion to the rear axles. And the size of crown wheel is bigger than that of the dual pinion. Therefore, the permanent speed direction is possible in final drive. So again, there are different types of final drive. We are going to study in the chapter number 3 in that final drive unit. Then, so, just a difference here, that is while taking the, the driving wheel must turn at the different speeds. So, this is done with the help of differential. Getting. So, that is only the purpose of this final drive. Then, battery system, that is a control system. So, brakes are used to slow down or stop the vehicle. So, different types of brakes are there. Mechanical brakes are there, hydraulic brakes are there, pneumatic brakes are there, which are to be used as per the manufacturer's need. Then, steering system, that is again the, one of the important control systems, which control the direction of the vehicle as per the wish of the driver. So, the, he is going to turn the wheels to left or right as per the wish. So, steering system is a control system. Axle, that is again the main carrying member of the and suspension system, that is again already we have discussed the objective of the system is to allow the road shaft to be transmitted to the different components of the automobile vehicle or to the occupants. So, it provides the comfort for the passengers or the occupants. At the same time, it increases the length of the various components of the vehicle. Meaning, by avoiding the road shaft to be transmitted to these parts. And lastly, the superstructure or body. So, in this part of the vehicle, passenger ride and are protected from the atmosphere effect. Correct. So the body is going to protect from the atmosphere effect for the passenger. It should design in such a way that so as to accommodate and protect the engine and other components and the passenger sitting in the vehicle from sun and rain by covering side with glass panels. The main shape of the body offers minimum wind resistance. Meaning, it provides the overall vision for the driver. Why glass panels are provided for the body? So, the body is so that driver or the passenger can see outside of the that atmosphere. Getting. So, that is about the body or superstructure. Getting. So, these are the important components of the atom bias. Basic structure, power plant, transmission system, auxiliaries. Auxiliary include the various electrical systems like lighting system, horn, uh, gauges, alternator, ignition systems, atom uh, battery generating systems, 
getting then the control system like brake system steering system and lastly the super structure of body these are the important components of the atom body in next lecture we will see the next one thank you